We've done some division in the past, and we're aware that you can recognize a division as it'll be shown like this with a division symbol between, or like this as a fraction, or in our long division format. Whichever way we recognize a division. 15 divided by 5 is 3, or 15 over 5 is 3, or 5 into 15 is 3. Recall that 15 in these cases is the dividend, the number being divided. The 5 is the divisor, the number that divides the dividend. And the 3 is the quotient, or the answer. Note that some students remember these terms easier by noticing that the dividend has a den in it. And we also notice that our division sign looks a bit like a den. So we always place the dividend in the den. And that leaves the divisor out front. And the quotient is always our answer. Let's consider what happens when we have decimal numbers involved in our division. For instance, what if we have 1.2 divided by 4? With a decimal, it looks a bit confusing. But recall that we can multiply the top and bottom of a fraction by the same number, and the fraction will stay the same. Well, we can take advantage of that fact here. Let's get rid of the decimal in the top. We have one digit after the decimal, so we know that multiplying by 10 will be enough to remove the decimal. And as long as we do the same thing to the bottom, that is multiply by 10, the fraction, or the division, stays the same. Still the same question, but nicer to work with. No decimals. So 1.2 times 10 is 12, and 4 times 10 is 40. And we've rewritten our division as 12 over 40, or 12 divided by 40. Same question, but no more decimals. Let's try another. What if we had 12 divided by 0 0.4? Again, we can strategically get rid of the decimal while keeping the question the same. We have one digit after the decimal, so we have to multiply the 0.4 by 10 to get rid of the decimal. And to keep it legit, we'll also multiply the 12 by 10. And we'll get 120 divided by 4. Again, same question, but no more decimals. In this tutorial, we're not looking at any new math skill, really. We're just recognizing that your existing knowledge is enough to let you manipulate most division problems involving decimals into division problems involving whole numbers. Really, the most common way to deal with division by decimals is simply by removing the decimals.